is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning, everyone. We've got temperatures outside that are in the 40s and 30s, 40 degrees in the springs, 30s from Pueblo out east, 20s as you go west a little bit more from Westcliff to Alamosa. So it's cold this morning. But it's okay because with the sunshine out there, a little bit of a breeze will actually warm up pretty well. And the wind should turn a little easterly today, which should theoretically bring a little bit more humidity to the air. Not much, but a little. So maybe your skin won't feel quite as dry today. Your lips maybe not quite as chapped. We'll be in the 60s outside, so it's not necessarily warm, but it's kind of okay for a typical fall day. Colorado Springs averages this time of year like 58, so anything above that's great. In fact, look at the forecast. So tomorrow, Halloween, It'll be awesome outside, 60s during the day. Definitely chilly in the afternoon from our cold front because the winds will be a little gusty, but trick or treat night shouldn't be too bad, just cold. Set the clocks back on Sunday for daylight saving time. Then as we go to next week, well, we're gonna be kind of around 70s. So sunshine, that's not bad. In fact, that is one of the better weeks I've forecasted in quite some time. In Pueblo, it is just as awesome next week. 70s with sunshine Monday through Thursday. Friday looked very awesome too. Saturday, uh, not too bad. The cold front will hit you between 1 to 3 in the afternoon, so breezy to windy through the end of the day. Trick-or-treating shouldn't be too bad. Not as much wind, just chilly at night. And set the clocks back on Sunday. Honestly, just a little cooler. It's not that bad. Canyon City, very beautiful on Saturday. 60s are still there on Sunday. 70s are back from Monday through next week. And we go over to Woodland Park, where we are going to see 50s on tap, going into the 60s next week with a great Halloween day. It's just chilly that night, and it'll be a little bit warmer next week.